This video is going to be dedicated to K9 Rosie. They've been having trouble with this for a while now. I'm trying to flash stock without using software upgrade. So I'm going to do them a huge favor and do a video. And in fact, if I go to this first message, they asked me to do a video. So, yeah. This video is dedicated to you, K9 Rosie. This is the instructions. Download the zip. Extract it. You'll have a recovery.rfs and you'll have a full restore stock.tar. Flash to recovery. Reboot to recovery. Open console. Type restore rfs. Type exit. Go to backup restore flash. Restore both system and data. The full restore. Go to recovery. Okay, it says flash recovery RFS. And it says reboot to recovery. Now it says go to restore RFS in the console. So now I'm going to run the stock stock ROM with Skeet Recovery, and then I'm going to apply this new ROM, and y'all will see whenever this is finally done. I've showed you a million times how to do this. If you don't, uh, put your phone in bootloader and run version one zero 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 one software upgrade, then you shouldn't be doing this. Check my binary folder every single time I flash to make sure that I do not see an M nine zero zero tar. People still do that to this day. They install this program right here, software upgrade, and then ignore all warnings and directions about make sure there's nothing in here that says M900. Yeah, and they, they just don't, either they don't care, they're, I don't know what their deal is, but it should be a 142 megabyte tar that says M920. completely stock with custom recovery and I'm not going to go through any of this sprint ID crap advanced options wipe factory reset Apply zip. Alright, a long while later, we're going to try to go to console now. Alright, sweet. Enter. We're going to type restore RFS and hit enter. Type Exit. Backup. Restore flash. Restore both system and data. Choose the full restore stock and hit home. It says successfully complete. We'll now reboot to system. Wants me to install a Sprint ID. Let's see about the stock recovery now.
So we still have freaking custom recovery. That's... I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen or not. But we got a stock ROM. <laughs>